I think that uh, group singing particularly is something very, I think it's very tribal actually. There's something transcendent about people singing together that isn't the same as when you, when you sing on your own. It was a bit terrifying to go there the first time, but kind of mustered up all my courage and I did go by myself and I remember sitting outside in the car thinking, oh my God, I've got to go in and I've got to sing in front of all these people. We all know if we have a, a bit of an episode and there's a bit of shouting and after a few minutes you feel quite good about it, don't you? You know, you've got it off your chest and there's obviously there's, there's a few natural endorphins as well. Um, but group singing seems to sort of amplify that if you like and obviously that the, the uh, collective creating of a sound as well is something pretty magical. Yeah, when an opportunity came to sing in a choir that sings more alternative stuff, not churchy stuff, um, I really jumped at it to be honest. Well, I've been running choirs, when I started the Colony Choir, I was into probably my about fifth year, so I was sort of getting a little bit I don't know, do we really have to sing this song again? Do we really have to sing that song again? And I, I, I just thought, I wonder if it would be possible to sing songs that I have more of an affinity with. Music that I prefer to listen to, my personal choice, if you like. Uh, and I did some very quick research on YouTube and found people doing exactly what I thought would be unbelievable. You know, I watched one particular video and thought, it looks amazing, that's what I want to do. Uh, so it was about creating a choir that I, w I would be happy to be a member of as well as the leader of with the music sort of thing. I mean, I love music, but I've never been a performer. Um, but, you know, it just felt like an interesting thing to try. Um, and, and the way that the choir was running, it was just learning songs line by line. It felt like a really gradual introduction. There was no big auditions, there was no solos. It was just singing together with a group of people, singing some really cool songs. So it felt like a really, uh, like an amazing thing to try out. So it was a bit nerve wracking the first the first rehearsal because we didn't know how many people were going to turn up. Um, I think he put in the advert that he was going to give the thir first 30 people a free drink. Um, so it was an expensive night for Tim because it was chocker. It's run on a commercial basis, so it's it's rather, so it's totally independent. So it, it, it just it's just run on the basis of people paying paying like a weekly subscription sort of thing. So we don't have like monthly or anything like that with people pay as they go. From a demographic point of view, we tick literally every box. So we've got males and females, young and old, uh, which is um, incredible. I mean, I've been, I've been doing, you know, as I said, five, six, this is my ninth year of choir, and we have 20 somethings coming to our choir, but as always, it's been a particular person of a certain age. It's just the music that brings us together, the songs. Well, I think, you know, I think it's much easier to sing with, uh, alongside a group of 10 or 15 men as opposed to being the only man in the choir and, and leading those the, 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 the deeper parts of the uh, of the song so you know we, we have a strength in numbers and it, it's um, I suppose you know we kind of give each other confidence uh, to kind of raise our voice and sing confidently um, so it's, it's fantastic and I think actually it really adds a, a really like a deepness and a richness and a fullness to the songs that we're singing Five, six, seven, eight, 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 seven, eight. People are familiar with a lot of the songs anyway, so we have lyrics and then we just I just teach by ear and it's called Rote, R O T E is just a particular way of teaching. Oh you girls all sang the same day, did some middles and sides, middles and highs all sang. But I'm gonna have the highs to do the first half. So, I mean, I, I do read music, I read and understand music, but I don't like teaching in that way. I think you can move things along a lot quicker. 
Well, we've done quite a lot of um, performances now. Um, and our first one was just a friends and family one, so that was just interacting with people that we know because we're still shy. So for people now, we're quite brave. Um, we'll go and sing anywhere at the drop of heart, and it's nice to see that people kind of enjoy it. We were at the Albert Dock at Christmas, um, singing away, and it was nice to see people go past and go, they're singing the killers. Um, it's just something a little bit different, isn't it? And people enjoy it, so that's great. Good afternoon, everyone! Yay! My name's Tim, I'm Andy for Liverpool Indie Choir. Thanks for being here today. So, we're going to knock a few songs out for you, okay? So, enjoy! Well, generally, the book stops with me because I have to, I have to learn that song and arrange it for quite a while. It tends to need to have some sort of affinity to it in some way. Even if that's it just the, the reimagining of the choir actually doing that song. So, if someone made a suggestion, I thought, I could really imagine us doing that, let's do it. So in terms of favourites, we have we've, we've been we've sang under the bridge by Red Hot Chili Peppers a couple of times recently. And it just sounds amazing. We just really really enjoy it, you know. We did it at Liverpool one for Christmas, and honestly, I could feel my bottom lip go. <laughs> Sometimes it's quite emotional, you know, and I love it when we, if we're gigging that song and watching people's reaction, you know, in the crowd, when the high, because the guys come in with the, the low parts and then the harmonies come in and it's just, something happens, I can't even explain it, it's just, um, it's, it's more than music really, it just feels so special.